In this episode, we are going to create the user login system, that means the authentication system with the make auth command. But along with that, we are also going to create the views for the login system because Laravel provide you the view which is not compatible with your view. So we will change that view and other things. So with that, I am your host Sarthak. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfilms on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's see how we can create our authentication system. And because we are using Laravel and it's so powerful that we don't have to do anything else. Okay, so let's just go to command prompt or the terminal, not the command prompt. I will open one more for doing all other steps. Okay, so maximize it. Yeah, so I will say PHP artisan make auth and that's it. Oops, <laughs> artisan. Okay, so now it's created and let's see how it's look like but because we are using our own system we can't find anything so let's just go to slash login and hit enter and now you can see we are getting error you know why because when we are creating the models we have moved the user model inside this user folder but now we are using the laravel make auth command and which assumes that your model that means this user.php the user model has to be inside exactly inside the app so if we want to use the make auth command and the authentication system provided by laravel we have to move our this user model from here so i will cut it from here and we have to move this on our app folder so paste it and yes now our model is inside app folder and that's very nice but we have to make some changes you know you can see at the namespace the model is written app slash model slash user we don't want that thing it's just simple app okay and other things are pretty good so let's try here and refresh and yes you can see we can have this but the problem is it's not having any kind of CSS file if you go to source and you can see this CSS file is not here because we have deleted every CSS or the JS folder from public folder given by the level okay so it doesn't matter because we are going to change all these views so that's good okay so firstly we have to register because on on our database we don't have any user here it's user table is empty just so let's create so for creating we have to register it so register and my name and then my email then one two three four five six and once more one two three four five six hit register and yes we are on the home page and again we are not getting any kind of uh, uh, css files and let's go to this database refresh and yes we have these data okay that's good let's now log in so log in here and firstly we have to log out obviously <laughs> so let's go and say log in and i have to say here with fumes one two three four five six login and yes everything is working absolutely fine so let's just change these views so firstly if i go here minimize it okay so what i want i want a link here which says that login here or simply login so let's just go and this is for header so i will open just close these things first okay so i will open resources views admin not admin <laughs> user layouts and header okay so in the header i will find that contact just create one more ally and it says login so i will say login and here now i have to provide the route here so 
where we found the route yeah absolutely in the web.php file inside web.php file you will find this auth routes so every routes related to auth authentication is here so if i go to this routes file which is this one auth.php let's go to this file and i will say auth command and here auth.php is here and in this routes function we will get this auth again one more time so here is the router.php so what you can do you can instead of going all these things you can just go router.php so here we have the two routes so we have to go to the laravel framework source illuminate routing so this is the file and here yeah here so you can see this auth function is here on the line 1009 so what i have done i have just pressed control p and then i have pressed router.php then for this second one the framework source eliminate routing router.php i have gone here and find 1009 auth function here you can see we have the login route here the post of the login route the logout so i will grab this name so i just have to say here route login okay so let's go refresh and yes we have this login button here let's click here and yes we are on the home page because we are already logged in so let's log out login and yes we are on the login page let's change its view so for that when i go to this contact page oops okay so instead of going from here let's go from here raw clean block and open contact.html only and this one i want i want to have this page which says login not contact me and here we will give the fields email password and then login button so what i will do i will grab all these things inside this contact page so by saying from 89 let's see where it's closing on 131 so copy these two okay now let's go to resources and inside view now we have two new folder and one new file because we have used the auth command so one new file is the home dot plate and these two folders the layouts folder and this auth folder so in the auth folder you will find this login dot blade which is that uh, this page so let's change this page we want our page here instead of this thing so instead of deleting first i will just do one thing uh, just create everything here so let's open any one file so i will open any one file let's say uh, post dot blade so i will copy everything from here and paste it here why I have used this because now I want to copy these things so you can see now you can see we are giving all these things so we don't have to give this prism.js because this is not any syntax highlighting and this image we have to give uh, that image on the contact page okay and yeah that's good but this is not post title this is title is simply login uh, login here also and the subtitle I think we don't have to give any subtitle okay so Facebook no we don't need any comment system here so we don't need this Facebook part and now from here we want to delete everything so select and delete and even this comment system also and here what i have to do i have to i have copied everything from here i think oops i think that gone go back contact and now i will save it so firstly let's just uh, first find that uh, image because i love that image so where is that image yeah this is here so this is the background image so i will give 
background image bg image where is that bg image come on. yeah here it is so i have to paste it choose this okay so and now in the footer we don't need this and now we have to grab these things so i need this form so form is still here so form has to be inside this and let's just delete everything else because now we don't need these things okay so everything is good now let's go refresh go to login and yes it's having these things everything is good but our image is not there here because i have used this thing because it's absolutely incorrect so i have to use other thing which is for level so i will say like this and here i will say asset and here user slash image i think so let's say public user slash image yeah okay so user slash image and no double quotes let's see how it's look like yeah so it's login here and the login id and password forgot password everything is good so let's log in here yeah it's i know it's working properly but let's do one thing okay let's log out one more time login and yes and you can see it's so much easy to implement all these things we have used the bootstrap that's why we don't even have to change these things so that's very nice so let's do that thing for register so instead of this here i want a register button also so that if user is not registered he or she can log in or register okay so let's find the login button and along with that login button i want one more button which says register and it's not a submit button it's just a button or i think i will give only href href here i have to say route and again i can find that route in the router for register and that's pretty simple name is register so i have to use the name of the route so register okay let's go refresh and yes we have this button register so click on the register and it's not doing anything because it's submitting that thing what happened here let's say it has to be anchor tag go back refresh and yes yeah okay so here we are on the register and we have to make this thing again new so let's just open resources views auth and here is the register blade so here instead of all these things again what i will do i will do everything as i have done here so copy all these things from login dot blade paste it here now instead of this form i will delete that form from here and now grab this form from here okay so let's just find its closing so closing is here so copy this paste it here and remove every other thing that's good okay so let's go refresh and yes login here but not login here register here so let's go i will say register here and you can see this is the magic of using these kind of template thing and the blade part the section part you just have to make one changes and it's look very very cool okay so now you can register and i will say ankur shwas and because bitfumes is already taken so i will use ankur at gmail.com which is not exist for me <laughs> okay so register confirm and yes we are registered properly and when i go here i have new user here and now we have to make these make changes in this home page so let's again just copy everything from here and 
let's just close this and close this also and close this also close this also close this also and home dot plate you can see it's good but I want this one okay and now we don't need any kind of form so let's just delete this form yes it's deleted and I will say here welcome to bitfumes okay and whom I want to welcome the users but my user is uh, I want to invite add Shirin <laughs> Ed Shirin and he is very nice good singer and very nice person okay and that's it <laughs> so let's see how our page look like refresh and we don't want this register here so let's say welcome to home yeah so I will say welcome to home it's like Spider-Man homecoming <laughs> so I will invite a Spider-Man also uh, and Spider-Man because Spider-Man homecoming homecoming okay <laughs> so that's for fun and yes absolutely correct we have login here and you can see the problem is when we are logged in we want here the logout button not the login button that's very important thing so what we have to do whenever I go to this layouts file and this app this is also created by the Laravel auth command so here you will find it says if auth is guest that means if you are not logged in you have to say log in else you have to say log out so I will catch these kind of logic and go to our user folder and header here I have given only login so I have to check first so if auth is a guest then I will say login otherwise so it's not and if I have to say else and here and if else we have to say logout but logout is not simple because it's logout and it's very important so it need a form to logout so we have to grab all these things from here and oops and paste it here and what's happening here you can see this form is actually hidden and this form is submitting by this anchor tag via JavaScript so it says on click event dot prevent that means whatever its actual event it whatever its actual want to do this anchor tag prevent that action and grab the logout form via ID so document dot get element by ID dot submit then after getting that form submit it so let's go refresh and yes you can see logout is here let's log out now and you can see we are logged out and now we can have login button so if I want to go to home we can't go because it's redirecting you to log out so you have to register or you have to log in here so when I log in which says credential does not match okay doesn't matter I will give you exact password and now we are here and logout is here and in this way we can create the login logout system with our template our views and not the views given by the level it's very easy to do but you have to understand how these things work then everything you do become easy I think we have to start now for the admin login system so we will start admin login system from next episode and if you have any doubt feel free to comment me message me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and you like bitfumes on these platforms and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called Laravel and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye <laughs> goodbye <laughs>